to a video tutorial for Active Inspire 1.5. Today I'm looking at the using the page browser. Now the using the page browser can be found on your browser menu and it's the first button on the left. So here we've got a view of all the pages that are in this flip chart and if you scroll down you can see all the different pages. It is very easy to rearrange the pages so if I wanted to put all these pictures up a header slide, I can just take that slide and move it up one. Reorder the pages very easily. If I wanted to see more pages than what I can, I can move this, this wee bar up here and that just shows me more of the pages at the same time. So I can rearrange things looking at all the pages and I can see what I want. It is also possible to copy one page and pull it into a different flip chart. So I've decided I actually want a separate flip chart with the words, or word wall if you like. Um, and I want to put that in a different flip chart as well, something I can bring up on other days. So all I need to do is left click on there and drag it into my new flip chart. And I just have to do that. Then I can click on my new flip chart and there it is. Now I can make that the only page in this flip chart, which is what I want. So I'm going to right click on the, the blank page that I don't want and I'm going to delete it. So I can delete that from the page browser as well. Now I may as well pull that down to full size and get rid of the browsers and I have a single page flip chart there. So the page browsers are very useful tool for rearranging your pages moving a page into another flip chart or seeing exactly what you've got.